Rova, tu quoi, Jim? Il n'a Si on a le poté à Jana, on a un Detective, eh? 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 Jina ni George Karisa, mkaji wa Shakahola. Uh, kulengana na huyu Makenzi, huyu Makenzi ametutesa kwa sababu ametutesa. Yaani kuna watu karibu moja walikuwa wanakuja Shakahola. Mimi ni mwanabiashara na ninauza mambo na majerken, nimebalance spare majerken nini. Sasa wale watu walikuwa wanakuja pale wanawake, watoto, wanachukua hizo vitu, wanakuja huku majerken, unona. Hasa imefikia wakati sahii wale watoto hawakuji tena, unona. Wale wazee wa mama hawakuji tena, unona. Kumbe huu jamaa anawafunga kamba wanakufa huku, unona sasa. Kwa hivyo serikali mimi ningeomba huyu makenzi, 
ashikwe akufe kabisa kwa sababu mkimwachilia sisi wakaji wa shakaola kutamua kuongea ule kweli huyu makenzi ametutesa unaona na akiulizwa kwenye koti anasema yeye hatumi yao watoto yeye anasema anafanya ukulima sasa huko hakuna ukulima wenye anafanya makenzi chenye anafanya ni biblia anawaambia watu wafunge unaona kwa sababu akishi ni dambi kwa hivyo serikali ningependa hata ruto ruto tafadhali ingilia hii mambo huyu mtu anatusumbua kusema ule kweli huyu mtu anatusumbua tafadhali huyu mtu venye huko huko ashikwe akufe kabisa kwa sababu hawa watu wako huku kwa ajili ya huyo jamaa hata sahi tuko huku tena wengine wametoroka unaona so mi chenye ningeomba serikali huyu jamaa tuende hivyo hivyo venye sahi tunaenda ili huyu jamaa tumali hawa watu tuwaokoe warudi kwao ili huyu jamaa yani aka atoroshwe kabisa kama ataenda kama atakufa akufe kwa sababu ni kama yani huyu jamaa mvua hainyeshi kwa ajili yake kwa sababu hao watu wanakufa huku watu wanakufa karibu 30 kwa siku eh? na sahi mvua shakahola hatupati mvua kwa ajili ya huyu jamaa eh? kwa nini huyu jamaa asishikwe jameni eh? mi ningeomba hata MCA wetu huyu jamaa naomba asiruhusiwe kufika kabisa maeneo haya ya shakahola naomba hiyo mheshimiwa Samson Zia. Kuna watu kuna baadhi kuna watu kama watano walijumuika hapa. Unaona? Sasa huyu jamaa kumbe akifika kama pale Shakaola anapulizia kitu ili ile maroho yanabadilika. Kwa sababu kuna mwanamke mwingine alienda kumpulizia kitu wakati alikuwa wa Malindi alienda Malindi akampata huko Malindi. Unaona? Sasa alimbadilisha roho hata bwanake Saini kusema ule kweli bwanake alikufa juzi. Ye Saini tumemrudisha kwa ile force Uno, lakini yeye hataki anataka kukufa unaona kwa hivyo chenye ningeomba serikali huyu jamaa asitolewe naomba asitolewe hata kama atatoa milioni ngapi asiachiliwe kabisa kwa majina naitwa papa Jeff kutoka kijiji cha Shakahola na huyu jamaa aliingia wakati alikaribishwa na wananchi alileta watu wake na watu wake walikuwa si wabaya vile hata walikuwa mara zingine si boda boda walikuwa natupea makazi tunabeba tunaleta huku lakini hii mambo hii mambo ya ku, watu wanakufa hii mambo ilianza juzi juzi sana ndoko tukaanza kuona hii maajabu na sasa hii yani imekuwa kama ntishio kwa sababu watu wanakufa kaa kuku yani lakini hii hali hii hali zamani ilikuwa huyu uh, jamaa zamani ilikuwa watu hapa wanaishi vizuri tuna, kuna, tu, wanakuja kwa mashamba yetu wananunua bidhaa wanarudi huku hakuna ubaya wote lakini sasa hii kuanzia huu hu, mwaka hii 2023 Eh hey, mambo ile change mbaya sana. Watu ukiingia huku paka ukiwa unabeba yani unatishiwa. Una eh? Paka alikuwa hataki tena maboda boda kabisa wengi paka huu msitu. Na huu msitu si ni kwani wetu ulikuwa unawasaidia watu wengi mara kwa sababu wa Somali wengi walikuwa wako huku wana maboma zao. Si tunabeba wa Somali tuna, tuna wanatulipa. Lakini sasa hao wakaja paka wakawa natutishia. Huu msitu ukiwa unaingia lazima uwe una, una, una tunajua we nani unaingia unaingia kivipi sasa ikawa hiyo ndio ntishio ndio sasa tuka tukaweka maandamano kama wana kijiji wa Shakaola tukaanza tukaanza kutaka kujua sasa kwani hii mambo inakuwa ina namna gani sasa ndio ikakujele story paka watu wanakufa una unaingia mahali unapata msitu kama mdogo wenyewe unapata kama watu kama tisa hivi wamekufa hapo olela olela na jamaa watu wanakufa na jamaa yako hapo unampata yeye anakula tu na anaangalia kabisa watu wake pale ndio wale na, na wanakufa na jamaa hana hata huruma hasa ndo watu waka, wakaanza kushtuka sasa ndo paka watu wakaandamana wakajiingia huku hasa tulipoingia huku tukaja tuka tukaingia na mzee wa, wa mtaa na mzee wa kijiji lakini sasa hiyo mambo yote tulikuja pata ilikuwa ni ngumu mzee tulikujiona maajabu watu wanakufa kaa huku bro hey, huku alikaribishwa na kama tuseme uko wa mabaya mwaro kwa sababu hii shamba aliuziwa na uko wa mabaya mwaro Ha, na na ondo alimkaribisha mpaka akatoa ile kajama eh ya sasa alipotoa ile kajama akaanza kuleta watu wake tukaona ni watu fiti kumbe wa watu mazee hawakupoa eh kulinga watu wengi kulinga wa karibu kama 600 eh watu wengi sana hapo mazee hata hata hapo kwenye tumefika bado hapo kwenye tumefika bado kabisa huko ndani bado kuna watu Mena. ni shamba kama ekaringa hii ni ekari 800 na 40 huko eh zenye alipewa na ukoo wa mbeangwaro eh, mimi chenye naomba kazi serikali ichukue tu wa mzi mmoja tu
kama ni kumaliziwa huyu jamaa amaliziwe tu historia yake ishe lakini hii mambo ya sijui anawekwa sijui sheria nini huyu jamaa anajua sheria kusema kweli na yeye sisi tukiongea na yeye utamwona yote yote anapapatika papatika yeye ni kama anajua sheria venye iko eh mimi okay my name is Abbas Baba Tunde I'm from Nigeria uh, I'm here in search of my loved ones my in-laws my child my wife our sisters of actually all their family are missing six people they used to live in Lincoln in Mombasa but I used to live in Nairobi with my wife kids so my wife sister used to work in Qatar Airways she's a Qatar Air cabin crew so she was the one who told my wife they should go and visit their parents in Malindi on day seven so our sister was working in Qatar Airways uh, so uh, I begin to knew they travel together when they are calling f our sister from work because she was supposed to re resume back to work last week Tuesday. Then they are calling my wife to ask for our sister. Then they track a flight that they, then she, they, they found out she booked a one way ticket to Malindi. Instead of her having a return ticket back to Nairobi, then to Qatar. When was that? Date 7. August. They went missing two weeks ago. How did you when come did you come here? Come here and what I came. Started? I came here on Sunday. Uh, I drove myself here through the help of Google Map to locate. I'm just coming to Malindi Police Station straight since I've reported the case when they went missing in Nairobi. So I was courageous to come. To I'm also looking for my loved ones since they're missing in Nairobi, and I found on the news they arrested one pastor. Then on their chart, I see they went to Malindi. Uh, my belief are so high and hope are so high, like I believe they will still be alive because they just came here two weeks ago. She did not tell me, she did not tell me anything about coming here. All I knew is she wants to come to visit her sister, uh, she wants to come with her sister to visit their parents here in Malindi. Uh, I was in the house, they just say I'm going to the shop. That is what they went to me. The real village. Yeah. Hi, I see what is growing here is not a religious, this is a ritual here. Yeah? Because the babe, the place he has brought them has no service, has no development, has no anything. So what is really happening here should not be allowed. Because this is in so inhuman. And the, I think the pastor is unapologetical and he doesn't have any concerns. Because I was at the court on Monday, then I see he denied the allegation. Then he was trying to get a bill. Then we, are, we stood our stand that we don't want him to be released until he provide our loved ones. The ones that are alive and the ones that are dead. At, he has disturbed my life. I'm destabilized. Like I can't even continue where I stop until I knew are they alive or they are dead. Or I just, with the hope of God, I'm praying I'm going to find them alive. My name is Victor Kaudo, Tetezo Adam, Malindi Social Justice Center. Na tumekuwa hapa for the last three days Kitafuta wa manusura Wengine waliokufa na bado wajazikwa Na leo ime anya, The first confirmation has been done Kwa sababu nyuma yetu Mnaona examination in bado inaendelea Na so far tayari milimiwili ndo hiyo isha tolewa uh, Hii inatuonyesha kuwa hapa Bado kuna watu wengi ambao wako chini ya ardhi So we are calling a multi-agency approach Kwa sababu kaburi zinazidi kwa nyingi kila kukicha zina kwa identified mingi. So tunataka multi agents approach in a way that he exercise hii sheharaka na tuanze kutafuta hiyo process of justice iendele kwa haraka. Na we are cond eh, condemning this act yenye mefanyika hapa. Kwa sababu tumeona most of the victims wenye tuko nao hapa leo ni wanawake na watoto. Na kama watoto ndio wengi ambao ni victims mali hapa inamanisha it's a danger to the next generation. Na hii yenye mefanyika hapa, maindiu haijaf, siya wa Kenya tupeke yake Ina involve mpaka watu kutoka inchi za inje pia Tumaona unakaka yetu ambaye pia ni anatoka kule Nigeria Na mtu wake pia wako hapa walikuja na bado watuja wapata So we are just calling on the government watume more machinery More people wakuje hapa katika ground ili kuweza kuja kusaidia hii exercise ikaweze kuisha kwa haraka Kwa majina naitua Matthias Shipeta kutoka shirika la haki Afrika na leo tuko hapa Shakahola kwa exercise ya exhumation of bodies 
ili tuweze kupata ushahidi uh, katika ile kesi ya Pastor Mackenzie timu zideployiwe zaidi kwa sababu ikiwa tunaamini ya kwamba kuna uh, mili zaidi ya mia then there might be another force that needs to be add because by the time tunamaliza hapa itachukua labda wiki mbili wiki tatu so we are calling upon the inspector general we are calling upon the DCI to continue with this work uh, and we appreciate the fact that the police are following up on this matter but kama ingekuwa imefanywa kitambo i believe tungekuwa tumeokoa maisha ya watu wengi this is massacre many kenyans have died here katika ile kufata dini potovu dini ambayo ilikuwa inafanya watoto wafunge na baba zao na mama zao in fact we believe that more children uh, may have died kwa sababu hawawezi kuzuia njaa so right now we are still counting to to hesabu ni watoto wangapi to hesabu ni wamama wangapi na wazee wangapi ambao wamekufa same way and we want uh, yule pastor ambao ameshikwa aendelee kuwekwa in custody because we don't want uh, interference katika hii investigation ambayo inaendelea this is very sad and uh, i had never thought that this could happen in this country um, tuko hapa pia kuwa support kisheria na ku kama ilikienda kotini tutatoa pia mawakili wetu ili kuweza kuhakikisha kuhakikisha kwamba tunaongeza support pale kotini sajuzi tuliona sawa ngoja tulia tu tutafika bro usikuwa na wasiwasi hapa my friend kazi ni mimi natembea naye kitabu hiyo baba jacob anarudi ni station gun ntv Acha kila kitu. Kuna chakula hapa. Hivi alafu tumalize Kwa 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 kwa
Siawa lipotea jana wakina nani? Kama tunamaa kizi grips Mkua mna kuwa Detective, eh? Usiwe mwepesi sana wakupigwa gari rangi Saa moja Eee 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 Utoke huku Uwota ka huku utatuma